Hi Aquarius, this is Kelly from Moon Pie Tarot. This is your general love reading for the month of June 2016. If you'd like a personal reading, please visit my official website, the link's below. And thank you for all of the support. Okay Aquarius, I pulled your cards and I just want to preface this reading here with, um, I know some of my Aquarius, Aquarian friends have not been too happy with their readings as of late. Not all of you, but some. Um, and I want to say that um, before we even start this reading that you have the lover's card in this reading okay so that is a positive sign but I am only reading the reading the cards as they come to me um, these are not pre-planned messages or anything like that so please understand I don't know what's really going on in your life and this is a very general reading it may or may not resonate with you whatever the case may be take from it what is positive and good um, I try to give the best message that I can okay so let's get started um, the bottom of the deck we have the eight of cups now a lot of people uh, and for those of you that are familiar with the Tarot, this card usually looks like a breakup card, but I don't tend to read it as a breakup card, but I, I do tend to read it as maybe a disappointment card, okay? A feeling of just feeling disappointed about your love life, okay? I don't know what's going on with Aquarius. I will admit there have been some readings that as of late were very difficult. Um, so I'm not sure if there's something going on up in the heavens or what have you, but um, I really, I do understand and I do feel for you. Um, and I know you're looking for a very positive reading, um, so I'll do my best here. But with this card coming up, the general theme for the month of June is um, just a feeling of disappointment in love, okay? Um, perhaps walking away from the idea of ever meeting anyone if you're single or walking away from the idea of um, your needs being met in a relationship. Um, like I said, I don't really say it. it could also be um, someone that you may have been with in the past um, choosing someone else over you. It could be that and you know, you just taking your, packing your bags and going. Um, either on an emotional level or a physical level. This is, the Cups is more of an emotional card, so it, it could, for me, it resonates as just you giving up um, some kind of hope. Hope that you have had, okay, with the Seven of Cups in the recent past. Um, Seven of Cups is really just about um, wishing for things to materialize in your life as far as love and emotional fulfillment. This card is really those things not tangible as of yet or have not been. Nothing has been cemented quite yet. These are just still things that are happening. Um, they're thoughts, they're your feelings, and you're, you're just hoping that things will come through. Now, let me tell you about this reading. There are a tremendous amount of people in this reading. We have the, the the King of Rods in reverse. We have the Queen of Pentacles. We have the Queen of Rods in reverse. We have the King of Cups in reverse. And we have the Page of Rods in reverse, okay? But we also have the Lovers. So this reading isn't too difficult. Um, for those of you who are single and dating or meeting a lot of people, there have been a lot of people one in the one in the recent past um, we have three people here okay there's an earth sign we have a fire sign and a water sign okay um, in the recent past there may have been a fire sign in your life um, but recent or distant it, it really it, it's just someone from before okay and it's a king of rod energy so this person may have been a little bit older than you leo sagittarius or aries okay and um i see with the ace of rods being in reverse here that things that you were hoping would maybe come to fruition with them um didn't really d these things did not really happen with them um 
I feel like you may have been trying to get in a particular place with someone and it just really didn't pan out in a way. Um, Ace of Wands, the Ace card is usually a card of new beginnings and the start of something new. It's only the beginning, so it it's it's it it, it, it hasn't really it's just the very beginning phase. But when it's reversed, the energy actually is low when it comes to when it, it was low when it was when it came to this person. Um, I feel like perhaps the person that you were with didn't return your feelings or wasn't as interested. Um, you may have gotten some kind of desired uh, result with them, but it's possible that it was just met with a lot of obstacles. Okay. Um, and I also feel like presently there are two people in your life, man or woman, a queen of rods, which is also another fire sign and a king of cups, which is a water sign. Um, the queen of rods it can be very similar to the King of Rods in that it's the same energy. This person could be new, is a little more passive, um, but again, is is not really coming forward as far as um, someone that you can be with. And the King of Cups, this is a water sign, is someone who is older, okay? Um, who is also, it's also going in the same direction that they, with the Ace of Rods, uh, these people are people that you may have been interested in if you're single, um, that just were not returning what you were hoping for from them. Okay. Um, but we have the Queen of Pentacles. And this is in the upright. And I feel like this this earth sign is someone that could be a, a good a good match for you. Okay, because they're showing up in the reading. And they're also under the seven of cups. So it could you could be weighing out these different energies of these different people, uh, trying to figure out, you know, these could just be friends that you could have potential interest in. Um, but I feel like the, qu the Queen of Pentacles is a better match for you. Okay, like I said, Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. Um, but with the Page of Swords under that, I feel like you may have a tendency to be a little uh, argumentative with them. Uh, kind of like, this could be a good or a bad thing. Um, it's not so much a romantic card, okay? Um, but it does show that there's curiosity. So you could have a curiosity about them, um, but it's not, it, it doesn't necessarily mean it could be romantic just yet. Um, it could be a sense where you might just be trying to get to know them right now, okay? I'm not seeing that these other energies, this king and queen of rods and this king of cups are going to be, um, what you need or, or who, who you should be with. Um, but there could be, <laughs> I, I just get the energy that you are, you're fighting a lot for some reason. Um, I feel like this queen of pentacles person could be, this person could like you back. Um, but it's more practical in their approach, okay? Um, I don't feel like they're going to be making a move on you very easily. Um, I just, I think they have, I think he might be a little, pa he or she may be a little passive, so it might be, it could be something that makes you a little frustrated with them um, and trying to reach out and, you know, wanting to be a part of them. But as I said, we have the lovers here, and the lovers is a good, is a good omen, okay, because it feels to me, it does generally say that they're, they're, your, what you are looking for is true love, uh, but I just kind of feel like that's not really going, and you may have been looking for that with this Rod's person, um, you know, 
in the past it really wasn't anything that was good for you or uh, what was going to work out for you but I think you're still looking at them and I think you're looking at this king of cups person um, but with the page of rods being underneath that I feel like that person also is not really going in your direction um, let me just see something here I, I feel like when I look at this card, you know, generally in the upright, this is a person who is looking in a different, is kind of like looking all around to see what else is out there and what's going on. Um, but in the reverse, I just get a feeling that they are... I just feel like with the the relationship with this cups person, this uh, water sign, I feel like there was a lot of a lot of arguments with them, but not over anything valid. Just um, kind of like ta some tantrums and things like that. There was just a lot of bickering back and forth with with them. This would be Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. Um, and I just feel like that would be a disappointment to you. I feel like your true heart really is with this this fire sign, but it's it's telling me that you need to really pay attention to this pentacles, this earth sign because I feel like they are more stable and more grounded for you, and I feel like that's a better option for you. You know, um, now for those of you who are in a relationship, whew, there's a lot of people involved in this relationship and these this fire and water sign people are not beneficial to you in your relationship I don't know if you're trying to reach out to your partner and you're trying to have things materialize for the two of you um, but I feel like there's a lot of interference a lot of negative interference from people who are are bringing it down okay and um, I feel like there's a lot of argument going on with the page of swords in the upright and the page of rods in reverse I feel like there's a lot of arguments going on and you're really just trying to be happy with your partner um, your partner could be a um, could also be an earth sign um, if that's the case they are they are very stable and they are someone that's just kind of like you know not really getting involved in in the end of the on the on that end um, I don't know I just know that we have the lovers card here so I feel like for single or in a relationship I feel like there there is love there is going to be um, a, some kind of a unification but I just feel like right now there's a lot of drama with these other people who are involved in your relationship or friends they could be family members um, you could really just be trying to make things work with your partner if, if things have been difficult lately um, but I feel like you you're really you really uh, are, you, you're fighting you're arguing with these people um, or they're they're and not you could not I don't feel I don't necessarily think you're on the attack I just feel like they could just be trying to get involved and and you know say different things or tell you different things or or perhaps about your partner um, and you're trying to get things off the ground or start things new with them or, or trying to stay together um, and yeah I just feel like there's a lot of involvement and the, really the focus is for you to I mean here with the eight of cups this is like I said I don't I never really see this as a breakup card but I do see this as like um, separating so you could just be trying to separate yourself from these people who are trying to get involved okay and um, I think that's really important and try not to spend your time arguing with them uh, try not to indulge or um, get involved just focus on your partner okay um, now I say your partner being an earth sign they they could 
they could very well be an earth sign, but they, they could also be any sign and just kind of have those qualities of the earth sign where they're stable, grounded, reserved, patient, slow going, um, very rock solid type of a type of a person, um, which is a very good, nice little mix for Aquarius. Um, so yeah, I think maybe just not really pay too much attention to these these voices and these other people because they're really in the they're in the reverse and they're not conducive to what you want here okay so I, I truly hope that this wasn't too negative of a message <laughs> I'm so, I try really just to be as positive of, as I can if you wish for a personal reading you can contact me to get more clarity and um, that's really all I have for the month of June. So best wishes with everything and um, I will talk to you soon. Okay, thanks. Bye.